Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at WiseAnt. I'm answering a question submitted by a student. So this is a question involving a system of linear equations. Notice that each equation is linear. It's the equation of a line. I like to approach these a little differently. Uh, I prefer to first write each equation in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to take that top one, negative 3x plus 6y equals 27. I'm going to move over the 3x, so that gives me 6y is equal to 3x plus 27, and divide by 6. So y is going to be 1 half x plus 27 over 6. So that That reduces to 9 over 2. Let's take the other equation, x minus 2y equals negative 9. So negative 2y is equal to negative x minus 9. So y would be equal to, now we're dividing by negative 2, so this becomes a positive 1 half x and a positive 9 halves. So now you can see that the two lines are identical. They have the same slope and the same intercept. If we were to draw them on a graph, we would say, oh, well, let's see. Here's 9 halves. And here's a line with that positive slope of a half. And that's my graph of the first one. And then the second one, the graph of the second one, would be right on top of the first. So I like to use visual methods. Sometimes it's uh, a little bit more work, but I think it works. I think it's quite good. And now you can see the answer is infinite solutions because the two lines intersect everywhere. And now they want uh, enter the general solution as an ordered pair in terms of x. So I would say x, I think if I'm understanding this correctly, it would be an ordered pair. x comma um, and y, <clears throat> y instead of instead of staying y, we're just going to give the expression for y. So it's going to be one half x plus nine halves. And I think that's what the question is asking for. <sighs> An ordered pair in terms of x. Okay, so there's nothing but x here. There's an x in the x position and there's an x in the y position. So that's an ordered pair involving only x, and that's our answer. Now, you could, you could have gone ahead and tried to uh, solve, and that's another way to do it. I don't think it's as good, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. So let's suppose we left the top equation alone, negative 3x plus 6y equals 27. And then the bottom, sorry, that got smudged. Let's multiply the bottom one by 3. So we're going to have 3x minus 6y equals negative 27. And if you add these together, you get 0 equals 0. And if you're comfortable with that, and if you can recognize that it means the two lines are identical and that they lie on top of each other, that's fine. And it is a little faster. But um, this approach that I prefer is much more powerful. Um, and also it's more visual. But it's entirely up to you which approach you prefer. But if you get a 0 equals 0, as we do here, 
um, it means that the two lines are identical. Okay, so that's it for this problem. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.